Let's start with the basics. Burnout and laziness are two very different things. Burnout is a state of physical, emotional, and mental exhaustion caused by prolonged and excessive stress. Laziness, on the other hand, is a lack of willingness to work or put in effort. Knowing the difference is crucial because it can help you address the root of your problems and find a solution. Is constant fatigue. If you're feeling tired all the time, even after a full night's sleep, it could be a sign of burnout. When you're burnt out, your energy reserves are depleted. It's not just about feeling sleepy, it's about feeling completely drained. It's like you've run out of gas, no matter how much you rest. So if you find yourself hitting the snooze button over and over again and still feeling exhausted, burnout might be the culprit, not laziness. Is dreading daily tasks. When you're burnt out, even simple tasks can feel overwhelming. It's like every little thing on your two. Do list becomes a mountain you can't climb. This isn't about being lazy, it's about being mentally and emotionally overwhelmed. If you're finding it hard to muster the energy to do things you used to enjoy, or even just handle your regular responsibilities, it's time to consider burnout as a possibility. Is chronic stress and anxiety? Feeling constantly on edge or anxious can be a sign that you're burnt out. This kind of stress doesn't just go away, it lingers and builds up over time. It's not about being lazy, it's about a prolonged state of pressure and strain. If you're feeling like you're always in fight or flight mode, it might be more than just a bad day. It's important to address these feelings and seek support if you need it. Is feeling disconnected. When you're burnt out, you might start to feel detached from your work, your friends, and even yourself. It's like you're going through the motions without really being engaged. This disconnection can be emotionally draining and isn't a sign of laziness. If you're feeling numb or detached from things that used to matter to you, it might be time to reflect on your well-being and take steps to reconnect with what's important. Is decreased performance. When you're burnt out, you might notice that your productivity and quality of work start to drop. This isn't about lack of effort, it's about being so worn out that you struggle to keep up with your usual standards. If you're putting in the same amount of effort but not seeing the same results, burnout could be the reason. It's important to acknowledge this and find ways to address the root causes. Is physical symptoms. Burnout can also manifest in physical ways like headaches, stomach issues, or trouble sleeping. These symptoms are your body's way of telling you it's under too much stress. If you're experiencing physical problems that you can't easily explain, burnout might be affecting your health. It's a good idea to pay attention to these signals and seek help if needed. So, there you have it, six signs that you might be burnt out rather than just lazy. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards taking care of yourself and finding a path to recovery. Remember, burnout is a serious issue, and it's okay to ask for help and take time for yourself. Constant fatigue means feeling perpetually tired and drained, even after a full night's sleep or a day off. This isn't the same as being occasionally tired or needing a short nap. Burnout-induced fatigue is profound and persistent. It affects your energy levels and makes it hard to function, no matter how much rest you get. When you're lazy, you might avoid tasks or take frequent breaks, but you generally don't experience this level of exhaustion. Burnout, on the other hand, leads to a deep-seated sense of weariness that rest alone cannot fix. If you're experiencing this type of fatigue, it might be a good idea to take a closer look at your workload and stress levels. Consider speaking with a healthcare professional if this fatigue persists. When you're burnt out, even simple daily tasks can seem overwhelming and daunting. This dread often leads to procrastination and avoidance. Tasks that once seemed manageable 
or enjoyable now feel like huge obstacles. Laziness typically involves a lack of willingness to start tasks or put in effort, but it doesn't usually come with the intense stress and dread that accompanies burnout. Burnout affects your ability to tackle tasks because you're mentally and emotionally drained, not because you don't want to work. If you're struggling with this feeling, it may help to break tasks into smaller, more manageable steps and seek support or adjustments to your workload. Chronic stress and anxiety are continuous states of heightened worry and tension that don't easily dissipate. It's not just about occasional stress, it's about a persistent feeling of being overwhelmed and anxious. Laziness doesn't typically cause the intense, ongoing stress that characterizes burnout. When you're burnt out, your stress response system is constantly activated, leading to physical and emotional strain. To manage chronic stress, consider practicing relaxation techniques, such as meditation or deep breathing exercises. It's also important to address the underlying causes of your stress and seek professional help if needed. Feeling disconnected means experiencing a sense of detachment from your work, your colleagues, and even your own emotions. You might feel like you're just going through the motions without any real engagement or enthusiasm. Laziness doesn't usually cause a profound sense of emotional or social detachment. Burnout, however, can make you feel isolated and disengaged because your emotional resources are depleted. Try to reconnect with activities or relationships that bring you joy and fulfillment. Sometimes taking a break or changing your routine can help rekindle your connection to your work and personal life. Decreased performance refers to a noticeable drop in the quality and efficiency of your work. You might find it harder to meet deadlines, make decisions, or maintain your usual standards of output. While laziness might lead to poor performance, it's usually a matter of willpower or motivation. Burnout causes decreased performance because your cognitive and emotional resources are depleted, making it hard to concentrate and perform well. Assess your workload and consider delegating tasks or adjusting your goals to be more manageable. It might also be helpful to take breaks and focus on self-care to help restore your performance levels. Physical symptoms of burnout can include headaches, stomach issues, frequent colds, and trouble sleeping. These symptoms are often a result of prolonged stress and exhaustion impacting your body. Laziness doesn't cause physical health issues. Burnout manifests physically because your body is under constant stress and strain, affecting your overall health and well-being. If you're experiencing physical symptoms, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional to address any underlying health issues. Taking care of your physical health through proper diet, exercise, and sleep is crucial for recovery. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And if you have any experiences or tips about dealing with burnout, share them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you.